Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I am back with another spring Pinterest recreating video. Alright, so it's officially spring in my head. The sun is shining, it's above like 50, that's a stretch, it's above like 40 degrees. So I'm like spring on the brain, like I'm already ready to just pack away all my coats, but that's not realistic because I think it's supposed to snow next week. But nonetheless, I am fully ready for spring. I am building my spring wardrobe. I am planning outfits I can't wait to wear, all the things. So I'm super excited to share with you the four outfits I picked today. I'm really channeling more color, I think, as I'm in the most neutral basic outfit there is to mankind. But nonetheless, I'm really trying to channel more color back into my wardrobe. I think we all like were victims of the boring neutral capsule wardrobe, which there is totally a need for that, but I'm back into color and I'm really excited about it. So um, yeah, I'm excited to share with you my four outfits. But before we go ahead and jump into the actual outfits, I want to say a big shout out to Dossier for partnering with me on this portion of today's video, which if you've not heard of Dossier before, you're living under a rock. You must not have seen any of my other videos because I've been talking about them for well over a year, probably two years at this point. I love their fragrances and I don't think any outfit is complete without, you know, a nice, Fragrance. So I've been building up my spring fragrances and I wanted to share with you my three that I picked for this month. The first is Citrus Tea. So if you're not familiar with Dossier, basically they do replicas of really high-end expensive fragrances starting at $39, which is so amazing. I have not found a Dossier fragrance that I don't think is amazing. Like honestly, they last, they smell identical, and I, I just love them. I absolutely love them. So this one is Citrus Tea. This is supposed to be a inspired by Le Labo, the Noir 29 Eau de Parfum. I have to be careful with Le Labo because Scott thinks they smell, I have one, <laughs> they smell like a hamster cage. They are very earthy, they are very woody, they are very high in terms of like cedar wood, which I feel like cedar wood chips are in a hamper, hamster cage, so Scott's always like, ugh. But I love cedar wood. This is so rich but fresh at the same time. It's got that black tea. Love how sophisticated and complex Le Labo's um, scent ranges and I love that Dossier is able to create it for a fraction of the cost. Basically think of when you think of these luxury brands it's, it's more has to do with their name and like that is what you're paying for more than just the fragrance itself. The next one I grabbed was Powdery Tobacco. This is replicated or inspired by Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanilla. Oh my gosh, this is tobacco, ginger, apricot, honey, vanilla, cocoa, tonka bean. I definitely can smell the tonka bean. Dried fruits and blonde woods. Since Dossier has mastered inspiring replicating and inspiring all of your high-end fragrances. They also do have their own line that they've recently introduced. This is their like Dossier Originals. This is from their Speakeasy collection, the Golden Rum and Amber. This is beautiful. Definitely smells like what you would think like a dark like Speakeasy would smell like with like velvet chairs and pictures all over the walls and just like a very, I don't know, I like this a lot. Another reason I absolutely love Dossier is they do bundle deals, so if you buy a couple and you wanna try them out, they do a great price for them. And I also love that they have a return policy. You wouldn't think that with fragrances. You would think once you get it, you're stuck with it, but I love that they offer 30-day returns. And then last but not least, an honorable mention, I checked out their home scents for the first time this month. They have candles and they have these little reed diffusers. I have had the floral marshmallow which is basically inspired by I want to say Killian Love Don't Be Shy. Um, so I got their home scent version. This is amazing and this is lives up in my office and it smells up the entire hallway. It is so pretty but not too overpowering but it's a very nice like fruity warm vanilla sort of marshmallow scent. I like it. It's a good room diffuser scent. So those are the three that I picked up this month plus that little reed diffuser. But if you're curious and want any more recommendations from me, let me know in the comments down below and I will let you know because I have a passion for dossier fragrances. They are the only ones I wear. I literally have my high-end ones just pushed in the back of the drawer. I don't even reach for them because I love the dossier ones that much. So 
Big shout out to Dossier for partnering with me. So now let's go ahead and jump in to the outfits. Okay, so look number one, I'm obsessed with this sort of like effortless but very classic basic pieces. Uh, you guys know I live for a button up, you will never not see it. Um, but I loved how these were paired in just a very casual way like these are pieces that you could wear in an office job but you can also wear them more casually in like a kind of springtime look um i don't normally think of black when i think of springtime but i think it's really light and fresh with the flip-flop and the lighter trousers so i'm here for this i think this is such a cute look so let's see how i do with look number one all right look number one we're going classic we're going to do a black button up and some tan, off-white, whatever, um, trousers, and then we accessorize, like always. So let's, let's change. All right, open these guys up. We're gonna do with what we've got for shoes, just because I tried to iron these, apparently I didn't do the best job. <laughs> job, um, but I don't have like a thong for the flops. I don't know why, I just don't own a pair. Maybe they're coming back. They just give me such like, I don't know, way back in the day. I feel like I haven't owned a pair of like thong flip flops in a very long time. Let's change top. I'm liking this already. I don't know what it is about a button up, but it just really, as Scott always says when he's like really happy with the purchase, he's like, ah, oh, it just checks all my boxes. And I'm like, does it now? Does it? So when he's all like, ah, I just love this so much. I'm like, does it check all your boxes? I don't know how like I start the bat the video with like 50% battery and then like 10 seconds in it's like nothing. I'm like, how did that make sense? That escalated quickly. Alright. So she's full tucked. It's full tucker looney these. My hair is wanting to just flip it, flop it this way, so we're just gonna embrace that instead of fighting it today because we're not friends. Um let's roll fully up. So it almost looks like, like a three-quarter, like a long short sleeve situation. Cute, cute. She definitely has a really thin little black belt. And I have a thin black belt, but it has like polka dots on it. And I'm feeling more like this. I don't think this is too thick by any means. But I'm really here for the belts coming back. I love it. Okay. Whoop. So let's put on our belts. I'm loving the way this outfit is already coming together. I just surprise myself sometimes. Just kidding. She has like a loop-de-loop -loop thing. It just kind of like hangs down, which I love that look. And I feel like I'm not always able to achieve that. So let's just, because my belt's aren't that long. That still works, okay? So, so what we got for our face. And like I said, she has like thong style sandals, but I only have slides right now. I might have a pair of thong style sandals. I really don't think I do, but I kind of want to get a pair. Ooh, maybe some like Javianas or something with like a little bit of a height to it. Uh, yeah, I would not necessarily pair these sandals with this, but they're not bad. She's not my favorite, but these are like old from H&M. Did you get what I mean? Okay. So I think that's it. I think that's all she did. I'm loving this whole like full cuff all the way up. I haven't done that in a long time and I'm kind of here for it. I just would swap out these sandals for anything else. <laughs> Honestly, these are not it. She also has like a longer style like tote bag, but I think we've come to the conclusion that I don't own very many like, I don't own that many bags. I did just pull the trigger on a new one, but um, I don't really own that many bags, and I just feel like if it's a black bag, it's a black bag. Does it really matter? No, it doesn't matter. She's gorgeous. How do we do? What do we think? I really love this. I really like this a lot. I just would, like I said, I would swap out the shoes for something else. I would definitely, I don't know, I would have to see what I would think about a uh, thong style, though, because I just feel like it's very, like, casual maybe she's wearing like linen pants where it seems pants i don't know why i said it like that um where it seems these kind of give linen vibes though so i don't know i probably 
I would try it with the flats, but these are giving just like too chunky. Ooh, you know what else would be cute? Just like a strappy sandal, which I do have, like a lace up sort of strappy sandal. I think I would like that more, like a delicate sandal where this is just like a little too, a little too chunky. So, outfit number one, let's move to outfit number two. Okay, look number two is what I'm gonna be living in pretty much this spring, I can just feel it. Linen pants. Boston clogs and a bright colored sweater. Specifically, I'm using this outfit to determine if I want a brighter blue sweater. I'm really into cobalt this season and I think it's gonna be a big color, but I feel like it kind of is limiting for me because I don't know about you, but I don't like cobalt blue with denim necessarily. I only really like it with white, so I'm like, is it worth getting a cobalt blue sweater when I'm really like limiting my bottom selection? But I do have white bottoms. So we're gonna see how I achieve this look with a lighter blue sweater that I already have in my collection and then decide if I want to get a brighter blue, royal blue, cobalt blue sweater. Um, I do think they're gorgeous. I do think this color is very timeless, but I don't know. I don't know. So let me know what you guys think. I think this is a great way to show you like I don't just use it to style the clothes I currently have. I also use Pinterest to kind of pick and choose outfits to see if I really can justify adding another piece into my wardrobe. So let's see how I do with outfit number two and let's see if I convince myself to buy a cobalt blue sweater. Okay so outfit number two is totally like farmer's market. Like I'm just running around on the weekend sort of thing and I'm kind of here for it. I love the bright pop of a sweater. I have this one that I'm going to see if it'll work because it's really oversized, so we're going to try. But I'm going to switch into some white linen, like pull-on drawstring pants with a blue sweater. And we'll see if it gets the job done. I get the vision. This is always like the moment of truth if I'm going to be good and put everything hanging back up or if I'm going to throw it into that pile. Let's start good and see what happens. I just bought these pants in my recent H&M um, videos. So if you haven't seen that, like my shop with me, um, I will throw that up in the cards. I'm here for it. I know they're see-through, but I don't care. When I say this sweater is big, like it's big. It's very, <laughs> very big, like kind of too big. I don't know why I bought such a big sweater. I wanted chunky oversized, but I, uh, accomplished that and then some. It's fine if you like tuck it under one, which it kind of stays because they've got like a, it's got like a bit a blah, 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 blah thing at the bottom, like a cinch. Let's see. Hers is like fully out and hers looks just like as big as mine, but like, I don't know, it's giving kind of frumpy dumpy. Not on her, on me. It's giving me frumpy dumpy if I like, yeah, I know. I think I would even like give it a one little tuckeroonie. Or you could do your um, little like elastic band trick that I always do. But I'm feeling this more than like a full, full on tuck. Okay, and a huge cuff sleeve. I don't mind this sweater. I really do want, I did want it oversized. That was the whole reason I bought it. Um, and I, I achieved that for myself. I feel her hair. Okay, now she has just some basic like accessories. She has some sunnies on. Why are my sunnies always the filthiest things in the world? She has kind of like big ones. I would throw these on, um, even though they give me Willy Wonka. Oh, look a look a Willy Wonka. You want to come to my chocolate factory? Did anyone see they're coming out with a new Wizard of Oz? I don't know if I told you guys this ever in my life that I was um, the Cowardly Lion when I was, I think it was jazz, my jazz class. We did the Cowardly Lion, oh, the Cowardly Lion. And it was my favorite um, costume. My mom like did like full on crazy makeup on my face. It was so cool and I wore like a tutu around my head. I love that. I have a, t I have a tail. Ugh. I don't think I have a picture of myself. Probably do somewhere, but I, I know I won't be able to find it before I post this video. Um, but anyway, it's it's giving Willy Wonka, which led I'm like, where am I? Where did this come from? Which led me to they're coming out with a new Wizard of Oz movie, and I'm kind of excited for it. So okay, Willy Wonka glasses on, um, and then she has like a tote, which I makes me think like, 
park makes me think farmer's market, whatever. I'm excited for farmer's market again. I even tried to iron this thing, y'all. This is normally my beach bag, pool bag. It is so wrinkly. I need to rewash it and like stretch it and dry it immediately. But I actually like the pop of green and the canvasness of this. Um, I got this on Amazon, but this is actually really cute. What do we think? We've got the clogs. I really like this outfit. I think this really screams spring in the Midwest because let's be real, like I'm still probably, this will, these will probably be gold here, but you're like covered, you know? Yeah, I love it. Okay, look number two. What do we think? How we do? Did I convince myself to buy a brighter blue sweater? I don't think I have. I think that this one will hit all of my needs for the fact that I can only really wear it with blue bottoms or white bottoms. And I know before you're like, you can wear it. Okay, I don't like it that way. So this is look number two and I kind of love it. So let's move on to look number three. Okay, outfit number three. Some of y'all are gonna be like, you're too old to wear that. And okay, whatever, I don't care. This is not an outfit that I'm wearing like to go to the grocery store. This is an outfit I would wear to go like into the city to get drinks with a girlfriend. Like I'm not, I'm not trying to be a mom in this outfit, okay? I think you can dress however you want, whatever makes you happy. And I just, wear whatever the heck you want, okay? So I love graphic tees, I love a little black mini skirt, and I love sambas, and I have all of these pieces. I just wanna see what it'll look like on me. It might look like I'm trying too hard. It might look effortless and chic. Who knows? She looks stinking adorable. She probably is not a mom, maybe she is. Who the heck cares? Wear what you want to wear. So we're going to try to recreate outfit number three. And if you have anything bad to say about it, that's fine. Keep it to yourself. Has your mama never told you? If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. But I hear it a lot that I don't dress for my age. And you know what? I think fashion can be fun. And it's all just trial and error. So let's see if I look like this. And maybe I'll agree with you. And maybe it won't be my cup of tea. But we won't know unless we try. So let's try outfit number three. We're really going strong with the fact that I'm going to hang everything up as we go. So proud of myself on that one. All right, let's swap these comfy linen pants for a black mini skirt, skirt, and uh, this big chunky sweater for a little graphic tee. I feel like this skirt, skirt, yeah, the skirt is short, but not like too short. I sized way the heck up in it so that it wouldn't be too short, but yes, there are like little shorties underneath it. But if you've tried the Abercrombie one and you're like, absolutely no way, that's like really short. Um, try this one, I feel like it's, it's fingertip length. So, I don't know, I feel, feel good in it. Um, but let's make it a little more casual with a graphic tee. I'm thinking this one will work, but we'll see. I just don't know if this sweat or this t-shirt is like oversized enough slash baggy enough, like longer slash big enough, but we're gonna try it. Let's continue the process. So she has cute little sunnies on, but she has her con or converse samba with some socks. So I have these little ankle socks. Let's pop those on. I'm thinking it's kind of cute. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't come to the conclusion yet. I think this can be kind of cute. It has potential. She definitely looks way cooler. Yeah, her shirt's more oversized, I think. Should I swap it over a different shirt really quick? Hold the phone. Okay, let's try this one and see if I like it better. I do really like this shirt, but I don't feel like it's fitting this, this look. I'm getting groupy. <laughs> do I look like a groupy? See, that's like a little bit longer and a little bit more oversized. It's definitely wrinkly, but ignore that um, because I just pulled it from my closet. And I'm the worst at letting my clothes just sit in the dryer and then re-wrinkling. How many times do you plus refresh on your dryer? I need to know because mine's embarrassingly too much. Okay, this is giving like really cool girl. I don't know if I can pull it off, but she cool. Very 90s. I don't know. I kind of like it. I kind of don't know. Um... Yeah, I mean, the wrinkly shirt is throwing me. I'm not gonna lie to you. It has potential. I don't know if it's my fave, though. Uh, I think it looks like I'm trying too hard. <laughs> Clearly, let's go to four, which is more in my wheelhouse. And then last but not least, outfit number four is right up my alley. It is perfection for me. I love the oversized, the casualness of it, but the just, 
mm, everything okay so I for the life of me cannot find my white trouser shorts I just have not pulled out shorts obviously hence again I just told you it's gonna snow next week I like rifled through my stuff but not hard enough clearly because I can't find them I do have a pair of shorts very very similar to this but we're just gonna go with white linen pants instead I think that's honestly more accurate for the Midwest spring anyways so we're gonna swap those shorts for pants and again that is something you can do with anything so as always I make these videos to try to encourage you to use what you have and not feel like you need to go buy something every single time you see an outfit you like so let's see how I do swapping the shorts for linen pant trousers Ooh, even trousers would look cute with this as well. So let's see. Let's play around some options, see what we've got. But let's see how I do with look number All right, let's move it on. Let's move it on to look number four, like I said. Um, I am going to go with linen pants, I think, because it'll be a good contrast with everything. So let's put on those linen pants again and a blue button-up um, that I also just picked up for my H&M shop with me. Um, could you believe that I don't just have a plain button up that's light blue that's not like um oxford you should believe it because it's accurate it's an accurate statement but let's pop this on and see how we do and i think we've officially given up and we're throwing it over there oh i think i'm gonna live in linen pants all year long i know it all year long, all spring long, all season. This shirt's kind of fun too because it has these like really bell-like sleeves. And I kind of love them. I used to hate bell sleeves. They're growing on me. Okay, now she has just one front tuck. Like I said, she is wearing shorts, but we're gonna just make do with what we have because I literally can't find mine. Um. She doesn't have hers tucked. See, that's the only reason I hate bell sleeves. So, ugh, I hate these things. I hate that I can't like roll them to stay, but it is what it is. We're just gonna embrace the crazy. She has Chanel dad sandals on, which I want so bad. Um, and I wish I had actually bought them last year, even though like they're stupid. I would, I shouldn't um, because they're trendy. And that's why I didn't buy them because they're trendy and now they're still back this season so I'm like oh, I don't know and I'm also kind of like they give like orthopedic shoe but they also like look cute anyway I found these ones on Shein and they've been my obsession they get that same vibe they're way real cheap um but what was I gonna say I tried the Aloha's version of them and those looked horrific on me. So if you know a good place to buy dad sandals, let me know that aren't like a million dollars, um, but are really cute still. But I think we can just rock these again and yeah, they're cute. Um, now, accessorize. She has like a creamy tote bag, which your girl just bought one, but she doesn't have one now because I don't have it with me. It's not here yet, but she has a sweater with a shoulder, which we know I love. I feel like this is more spring than the shorts for sure anyways. Not saying that she's wearing this in the spring because I don't know what she's doing. I don't even know what season it is. I don't even know what homegirl's face looks like, okay? So we're just imagining. But I like this. <gasps> this is my favorite. This is my favorite. I think I'm gonna go red bag. I was getting dressed yesterday and Scott was like, you know, I hate this sweater over the shoulders. And I was like, huh, nobody asked. <laughs> Not one single person. Like, I tell him every time, I'm like, you know what? I will start taking fashion advice from you when you don't dress like the same way I dress my toddler. Our toddler. You know what I mean? I think this would look cute with this little pop of red as a bag. Why is this everything? I love this look! Okay, this is so cute. This is so cute. The sweater really is quite impractical um, because, what was I gonna say? Um, you can't put it on over this because this is so oversized and this isn't as oversized. Um, but it really acts as like a scarf. 
think about it like that. Uh, so yeah, I'm here for it. And with it being tied like this, I had seen some comments in my previous videos like that you don't know how to get this to stay. And like, let's be real, it doesn't always stay. But when you tie it like this, it's not going anywhere. She's here to stay. So if you don't want that and you want it to be open like this, just really make sure that the top of it is sitting on your shoulders um, more than you think you need it. Like, not like just draped like that because then it's going to fall. Like, I'm talking like up on the neck. And then twist it if you want it to be twisted. And if you don't like how bulky that looks, you can simply just do one string out and tuck that away. But it's not going anywhere. See? <laughs> I don't know why I decided to be like one of those freaking inflatable men outside of a car dealership, but you get the vibe. This is my everything. Like, as soon as it becomes 60 degrees, I'm wearing this outside. To do what? I don't know, but I'm wearing it outside. All right, you guys, that's it. Those are the four spring transitional outfits that I cannot wait to wear very, very, very soon um, from Pinterest. As always, I love making these videos. I think they are really helpful in a world that really talks about overconsumption. And I know I'm talking about clothes and all that, but I'm trying to encourage you to look within, try to find stuff that you already have in your wardrobe to just plug and chug, and it doesn't have to be exact and that's the beauty of it. Um, so yeah, or it can be used as a tool to help you make more conscious decisions. And if there is an outfit that I like, I'm constantly seeing constantly pinning, I add that item to my wish list, and I'm just looking and browsing that way. So if I'm in a shopping mood, I will look on my wish list and that's what I'll look to search to see what I want because I already know I want that item. Instead of just blindly picking things Ooh, that don't make sense. Then you end up with a closet full of things you don't want to wear. And I think these videos are actually even more helpful than just capsule wardrobing because capsule wardrobing is so different for so many people. And I think I'm kind of just moved on from that and more just looking at these basics that you have in your wardrobe forever can be used from season to season, can be used from outfit to outfit, and I'm here for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed these four um, Pinterest outfits that I've recreated. Let me know what your favorite one is down below, and I'll see you in my next one next week. Bye, guys.